Hey guys, Ashlane here today coming at you with two of my favorite bases in the game for anti three star Town Hall 10 designs. So I'm going to show you two today. The reason being because one is a pure anti three star, really making sure that nobody go lavas or lava hounds it for three. The other one is a little bit more of a hybrid with an anti three uh, main theme, but also can protect against a lot of two star attacks as well. So we'll discuss why you need to use one as opposed to the other. So let's go ahead and look at the pure anti three first. So it's going to be this base. So you got guys can feel free to screenshot and uh, make sure I'm as wide out as possible here. So this is the uh, anti-3, pure anti-3 base. Now the, the reason I say pure is because it has all the outside units all the way pushed towards the edge. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to 3-star, but it also makes it uh, more easier to snipe for the percentage to get that second star as the town hall is obviously somewhat accessible being off-center. Now the reason both these bases are anti anti-3 to begin with is by having the town hall a little bit, in this case, to the northeast, a little bit off-center, and having instead the clan castle right in the middle there makes it, well, A, impossible to lure that clan castle out, or nearly impossible, and even if you can lure, uh, dragging it to the edge is going to cause a lot of friction with all these outside units. Uh, but furthermore, the Archer Queen is the most critical unit to take out in any kind of a three-star attempt. So taking the Archer Queen ahead of time, like with a go lava type attack, is nearly impossible in this space. You can see the Archer Queen is right in the middle there, and she's protected by the Barbarian King because she's in range. If you put the heroes protecting each other within range of each other, it's very, very difficult to take out the Queen. And also, she's protected by both Inferno Towers and the Expos and the Clan Castle. I mean, it's just such a high concentration here that it's really, really difficult to take out the Queen. And if you can't take out the Queen before an air raid for three star and a three star bid, you're not going to have success. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this first one, uh, and we're going to go to the second one. As I'm going to the second base, I just want to talk about why you would use one as opposed to the other. So if you're going up against a really tough clan, for example, in Clan Wars, and maybe you're to the middle or the bottom of your Clan War map, you might want to talk to your leaders and your co-team. Depending on what kind of caliber war uh, clan you have, you might want to talk to them about possibly going to an anti-3 base. Now, why would you do that? Well, obviously, you do that if you've been 3-starred at least you know, one or two out of every four matches. If you're getting three-star at all, that really hurts your team in the clan war. You might want to think about going to a anti-three-star base. That way that can prevent the three-stars, take the two, kind of like a one-star white flag, it's a two-star white flag because of the strength of Lava Lunian type attacks. So let's go to this second base here. This is the more hybrid, like I said. Why? Because, well, the only difference is it does have, once again, a very uh, very strong middle with all these traps, the Clan Castle, the Archer Queen, and the King. But the main difference is these outside units are not as pushed back. They're actually in range of these Archer Towers that are scattered throughout the, uh, throughout the due west, due east, south, and north sides of the base. That makes it a little bit tougher to snipe, for example. You can't snipe these Dark Elixir Pumps, these uh, the Gold Mines, with those Archer Towers on the far sides. So... And these cannons prevent the archers as well. So it's a little bit more difficult to get the two-star attacks, but it also prevents against three-star attacks, just not quite as effectively as the first base I showed you. So guys, I'll keep it short and sweet. I'll go ahead and zoom all the way out if you want to screen cap this base and perhaps use it in some of your wars. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy these bases. Maybe tell some of your clanmates about them if you if you notice that some of your clanmates are getting three-starred a little bit too often. And perhaps it will help you guys out in war. So take care. Please like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you want to see any more type of bases. Take care, guys.